Hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. I'm not organised, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm watching a video just now, I've just finished watching a video, um, Paul from Vape Don't Smoke, and he's got the, the voice activated iJoy or something like that. Now, one of the things I get thrown at me all the time is there's a famous comedy sketch. Um, it's, it's two Scotsmen in a, a voice activated lift or elevator and they're saying 11. 11. Could you please repeat that? 11. 11. 11. 11. Could you please repeat that? And it never, so it gets thrown at me all the time in the comments. Uh, so watching Paul do a review with a voice activated mod just creased me up. Uh, so <laughs> it's just, it's wrong. 11. Um, anyway, you, most people wouldn't get that. Um, been a busy week, I think. I think. I did a vlog last week. In fact, I'm sure I did a vlog last week. In fact, my hair, I've had my ears lowered. You may have noticed my ears have been lowered and um, strangely enough, my hair's black again. Um, now, vaping wise, vape, what am I vaping with? Um, I hope the sound's okay. Had a bit of a, this, this, this goes out to Dean. This one's for Dean. So when I do close ups, uh, the camera, the camera's right there. And I've got this like uh, mic, boom mic type thing on top of it. And when it arrived, I was so excited and I threw it on there and, and it works great. But when I do my close ups, the, the mic is almost like here. So every time I do a p, that, it's, it spikes. So normally you would have like a pop filter, which I've got on a Blue Yeti mic here. So I, I thought I would just be cheap and just, I know it's not designed for it, but I bought one of these, um, where's it gone? One of these um, things. I know that's a wind mic. I, I know it's for wind noise, but I thought that'll help. I'll, I'll get that. Uh, and, and it's, designed to work with this mic put it on and it just kind of like had a, a limp moment it just kind of sat like that so i was about to you know throw some negative feedback on amazon for it and then somebody said well make sure that you put on the foam cover on your mic i didn't have a foam cover on mine and then i opened the box and found out that in my haste i had forgotten to put the foam cover over the the mic when i got it so i don't actually need that I'm such a klutz. I, I really, I've talked about this before. Um, and you know, I know uh, like um, vaping with V1CK and, and Dean, I, I see them talking away to one another about cameras and mics and things like that. And, and they're all professional and technical and whatnot. And I'm just like, I don't give a shit. Um, and, and that's wrong. I apologize. So hopefully the sound's okay on this because I'm now professional and set up properly. Ah. Uh, pull that. Now, things I have. I have a few things to show you. Um, oh, first thing. Now, uh, I was talking to, I don't do juice reviews, and this isn't a juice review, um, but Pima uh, from Vixit Mods, um, who also works with Raphael, uh, and they do the one RDA. I was talking to Pima and he said, I've got a mate who does some e-liquids, can I send you them on? And I said, no, I don't do juice reviews. I don't do juice promotion as such. I only really show off the juice that I vape. And the only juice I vape is lemon crack, goose juice, and nata. That, that goose juice years, it's my all day vape. Lemon crack, um, has been a recent one from the wonderful Mr. White. Good news on the missus, mate. That's awesome news. Anyway, and uh, the Nata, which uh, Toby sends me over from uh, his town vapes, which I, I absolutely Portuguese custard tarts. Um, but when I was in Poland, um, I did get to try a juice called TM Pudding. And the guy that makes it was wasted. <laughs> he was so drunk. 
I, I'll always stick with me that. And and I've had a few bottles of it just now, and I, I really like it. It's a very good custardy type vape. Uh, so apparently, Pima's mate owns the company that makes produces this juice and some other juices. So I got some vape meal. Uh, I got some sample boxes. Look at this. Now this stuff I've tried. It's from a company called. Um, from. Oh, I had I had the. Why is it not written in the boxes? Well, I've got this. The, T, the TM pudding, I know. I know well, and, and it's really nice. These guys are actually at Vape Jam today and tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, but they sent that on. So if you get a chance, give it a bash if you like custards. I can say that's good. Um, but they also sent on some other stuff. Oh, it's from Nick Vape. That's it. NickVape.de Delta Echo. Um, there you go. Boink. So they sent on that. It's a sample box. Um, another sample box. And another sample box. Uh, I've not tried any of these. I'll be brutally honest. I will probably give these away on my Facebook group. Um, or I'll go and check the flavour profiles out on their website and see what they are. And if there's any that I think I might like, I might try a, a sneak taste at them. But I'll keep the TM pudding because it's gorgeous. Uh, but the rest I'll give away on my Facebook group. Um, so, there we go. Um, once again, just to be just to be clear, they, they were sent on to me free. Um, and as a favour to a mate, that's why I showed them to you. I'm not getting any commission, I'm not earning anything, I'm just I'm just getting some custard. Uh, Vape-wise, what I'm vaping on or with. Um, now, I, can't, I think I told you last week, there is a Russian company. Um, and the boy got in touch with me. I told you all this last week. It was a, a custom box. Check this out. So that's the, you'll find them on Instagram and whatnot. That's the name of the company there. But this is actually very well done. It's not a Hammond box. There's no lean. I mean, it's a custom milled box that they have done themselves. It's got a nice clicky button. I think that's a fat daddy up the top there. But the, it's got some nice touches. Like you've got the, the notch for taking the door off. You can also see that it's got, see in here? And here, that ridge. So if you do get any spillage, there's not going to be any juice going into the mod itself. This one is a dual 18650 parallel, but you will do them in series. This has two MOSFETs behind here. This is all custom. We've got an on off switch here as well. And it's quite well done. It is actually quite well done. It's it's an, an, an aluminium box with two batteries inside it and two MOSFETs. Uh, but it's... I've actually been vaping away with... Uh, what is this? This was from Lost Vape. This is one of Lost Vape's sub-tanks. I uh, forget the name of it. But I've been vaping with this today. That's actually a mix of Nata and Lemon Crack. So I will be doing a review for this mod. Um, it, it will probably be a very quick one. Uh, there's not a lot I can, I'll take the screws out and we'll have a look behind it and whatnot. But, see, even my phone agrees with me. Uh, but it, it's not bad. It's, 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 I'm rather impressed, actually. I'm rather impressed. Um, anyway, and uh, I need to sort my chair out again. Um, oh, is anybody watching Krypton? Is it called Krypton? It's set um, in the past on, um, is it Kandar? Not Kandar, Krypton. <laughs> Kandar's the city. Ah, um, Superman type thing. Uh, yeah, a few episodes into it, it's okay. Uh, and I watched the first two episodes of uh, Billions. Billions? Millions. Billions last night. Really good. It's very, very good. Um, working my way around. This arrived. Right. Will I show you this first? Right. Here we go. So, 
Um, Anatolian mods. Uh, now I'm quite a fanboy for Anatolian mods. I love them. My Anatolian is this. This is a MOSFET Dual 18650. I've had this for a very, very long time and it's just a beautiful, beautiful mod. Anyway, um, so Anatolian mods is in Turkey. So I was talking away to the main man um, and he said, I've got a mate who does uh, a company called this, Serious Mods. Um, and they have, they've had the the spicy, no, it's the spiker, or the, I keep calling it the spicy. I have to stop calling it that. Uh, they had spice it out for a while, but this is now the Pro, they've called it. And it's a mouth to lung RTA. And it looks a lot like this. Now this is going to be out, and I'm looking at the mic. Why am I looking at the mic? This is going to be out in two weeks time, I do believe. It's going to be about the 100 euros mark. And I can tell you now, now then, let's take that off of here. I've got one of David Mottram's coils in here um, that I discussed during the Berserker review. And just for clarification, if you're interested in these little Clapton typey coils, mouth to lung type coils, they're going to be for sale on stealthvape.co.uk. Um, that was a paid promotion. I got sent biscuits. For saying this. I didn't really, but anyway. Uh, so I'll pop it on here because it's just 4.2 volts. I think this is a 1.1 ohm um, coil. It's... Now that I get in the box. Yes, Turkey. It comes from Turkey. Uh, this is what you're getting in the box. Uh, now, you get a spare tank, uh, bits and bobs, there's a coiling tool, this, this tool serves several purposes, but what you can do is you can unscrew the 510 pin, and it comes with two more of these things. See how they're sl that's slotted there, can you see that there? So the, there's three in total, one inside it, and you get another two, and these slots, you know, change the airflow uh, underneath the coil. This is real mouth to lung. This this is. Uh, I've only had it for a day. I've only had it for a day, and um, I've got. I don't. Not. This isn't hype. This isn't bullshit. This isn't me trying to promote anything or anything like that. This is just off the top of my head. The vape from this with my goose juice reminds me of an old K fun with cotton, not with cotton, but with silica, and uh, just an old V3 one, uh, 3.1, um, it just, it's nice. The, just the standard airflow setup in this is really nice, and if I take it down to one air hole here, it's, that, that is proper mouth to lung. Very good. Uh, you've got airflow control. You've got juice flow control, and um, and 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 I don't know about the Ultim drip tip. Uh, I don't know about that. But now th this was a, a late arrival. It was, as I said, it it, it was through a friend that it ended up with me. I think it's going to be for sale on the fifteenth, which is eight days away. I've only had it for a day. Uh, I do have other stuff in ahead of it for review, but as a favour for a mate, uh, I'm going to stick with it and I'll try and bump it along and I will get a review out for the for launch day, hopefully for launch day. So I'm going to put this through its paces and learn more about it. As I said, I think it's going to be about 100, 110 euros. Um, it's actually made in Turkey. It's not Chinese, it's made in Turkey. And I think I'm going to sneeze, but I'll get back to you on that one. I may sneeze. Ah, oh, shit. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, so, that's the the Spiker 
Pro or the Spicy Pro, not to be confused with the plain, the, there is a Spicer, a Spiker uh, version, not a Pro version and it's a lot cheaper. Uh, so, right, pop that up there, uh, boom. Is that vapour on that? Oh, what? Where did the mod go? Oh, it's there. Shh. Um, I'm also vaping away with still, uh, I, I purchased this, the Expromiser, that's the 4mm setup that I've got on there, that's it on the Mirage by Lost Vape, and I do have a 0 0.7 ohm coil in here, I'm actually at 19 watts, and I've, it's a very restricted direct lung setup I've got on this. It's not a bad tank this, uh, cost me about 50 quid posted to me, um, it, it, it's not bad, you can get a, I think it's a kind of loose mouth to lung, you can get a mouth, a mouth to lung from this, you can, and it's good, the flavour's not bad, it's not bad at all, uh, the only thing, I, I, when you get one, if you buy one, break it down, take it to bits entirely once you get it and get some VG or some liquid and put it on all the O-rings because the, it's so tight, everything's really tight when it arrives and I, I, yeah, be careful and you also want to check that all the O-rings are in place, one of the O-rings was missing on the top of my actual glass tank um, but it comes with spares so, but a, a review will be coming for that as well. Uh, I also got um, did I show you this? I can't, did I show you that last week? Can't remember. Um, the fill? I'm pretty sure I showed you that. Uh, Amber Mods. Uh, I've been using this a lot. I really like it. It just suits my big paw. It, it's very, very good. Um, I'm not sure about the... the anyway. I'll come back to that. I, I, that's not really going to. It's not for review uh, because that. Yeah, I, I got it for me from Dominic. Thank you, Dominic, for I did a trade. Uh, so, but I really, really do like that. Uh, also arrived where this. This is the the Otis. O Ati, O at no the O Jenny the Jenny V two, the Jenny which is an R D T A. Um, I'll put this in silent now. I will, honestly. Uh, I, I really, I just, RDTAs, I just don't like. They just, look at the size of the air hole in that. It's got a big old air hole on it. It's a restricted direct lung. Um, I just, with, I always have the same issue with RDTAs. I can never get them to wick fast enough. They just can't. Uh, and I'm having the same issues with this. So uh, I'm going to put some mesh, stainless steel mesh slugs in it and see if that works better. It should do. Uh, but there will be a review for that coming uh, very, very soon. Uh, right. Other stuff. I picked one of these up. So that's the Hellfire Strike. Uh, now, uh, I will say straight off the bat, now I know Damien from a bloody good vaping, uh, did a review on this and I I really wanted to get my hands on one because the way that the airflow works on it, um, it's got like an inner chamber if you like and you can screw this bit at the top and it puts the chamber up and down uh, so when you get a, a mouth to lung vape on it, it's also got a lot smaller chamber inside it very very clever very clever um i think the design on it is superb i really do um it, it's one of the the smartest airflow adjustment setups and chamber adjustments that i've seen in an rda in quite a long time so kudos for that um i think it's ugly as sin because of that um the, that big air hole there and there uh, I'm not a fan of that um, and I'm also struggling with flavour um, it's now I've only had this for a day so I've been vaping with it for 24 hours um, 
I'm trying a cloudy build in it first. So I've got it fully open. Fully open. And I'm squonking with it. And it squonks really well. Um, I'll switch this on. Excuse me. Oh, I've just locked it again. Such a dick. Right. Uh, I'll have a vape on this. Plenty of vapour. It's a nice vape. That's about all I can say right now. It's open and an open open draw. It's it's possibly it's around the Haku level. Um, yeah, I think it's it's just about as good as a Haku on the flavour front. Um, I'm, the coil height is what threw me. I thought the, I had the coil quite low down, uh, but I'm putting the coil further up and further up, and the higher I'm putting it, the better flavour I'm getting. But right now, um, I'm struggling with it. I'm struggling with it. So I'll persevere with this, try another couple of builds for cloudy, uh, more coil heights, then I'll go to mouth to lung heights, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. So design-wise, superb. Vape wise, it's not all that so far, in my humble opinion. Um, if you have advice on builds or coil height and positions or anything that I recommended build for a strike, then please comment in the, the video, this video below. Uh, I, I would love to hear what works for you. Um, it just it just goes to show different different strokes for different folks. Um, but then. I could be building it completely wrong. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, uh, what else have we got going on? Oh, these are, um, oh, I've got some more wire. Uh, stealth vape. Can't beat stealth vape for wire. Um, so 26 gauge and 24 gauge. Um, yes, I'm down with the kids. Maybe not, uh, but but that's what I like to build with. Uh, that's what I like to build with. Just plain old Canthal A1. Uh, other stuff we have going on here. These arrived. I, I, I Geek Vape sent, seem to send me stuff weeks after everybody else gets it in for review. Um, I don't know if I'll review it. I'll, I'll chuck a couple of builds in and, and see how I get on with it. And, and if I really enjoy it, then I will do a review if it's meh and, and just, if there's nothing different about it, then I probably won't bother. But everybody and their dogs, th there's so many reviews for it out just now that, um, and, and I don't think it's really designed for the way I kind of normally vape, but we'll give it a bash. Oh, uh, thank you, FedEx. You suck balls. Um, my air lab that I got from <laughs> Vapes by Inshui uh, in Canada. Um, so I paid, <laughs> what did I pay? Paid £30 for fast shipping. Got it here so quickly. And then I just got charged another £30 on top of that for uh, customs charges. <laughs> so <laughs> that sucked. Um, I still think that the air lab was. Tremendous RDA, but um, I paid for that myself, so I needed to get money back to buy other stuff. So as much as I loved it, and it, and it is just as good as nearly every RDA that I owned, I sold that on to somebody else. Um, so they got a little bargain. Uh, but anyway, uh, other things, videos, what have I been up to? I did some videos for, yeah, not car stuff, but um, what shall we call it? The V200 mod. <laughs> Nobody watches my Chinese type reviews, um, but um, so so that went up. It looks like the V200 I had is a later model. Because, and somebody reminded me in the comments, now the, the first one I had that had the dodgy door um, that I talked about in the review, when you put your ATI on or switched it off and on, it dropped the volts or the wattage down to 10 watts every time. 
just did that and it didn't have an auto mode whereas the one that I just used for review has that auto mode and it has the battery door that's far better so that looks like there's two different versions kicking about for that mod um, I like the mod it was all right it, it, no big shakes with the mod it was okay um, it was the styling of it that floated my boat and the RDA was it wasn't shit if you're into your cloudier type stuff then the Templar RDA was actually okay uh, the Berserker it's all right it's actually for 30 pound I thought it was really good for a mouth to lung RDA it's actually very good um, shout out for um, Bob Bob at Aphidian Vapes um, go and check him out Aphidian uh, am I saying that right Aphidian Vape Vapes uh, he did a little vlog blog type thing where he looked at the Berserker and he didn't rate it that highly he wasn't that much of a fan of it and, and it was quite interesting to see somebody else giving a totally different viewpoint on something that I liked and then somebody else saying that it's not for them uh, so go check it out it's actually nice to get two opposing views on something um, and that was it that's kind of all I've done uh, showing you all the new stuff uh, is there anything else I can tell you about what else did I get must be other stuff I did. there will be a video going live tomorrow for the Ark Squonker I'm not going to say anything else on that it's a gush fest I do gush I, I make no bones about that uh, it's actually sitting up there behind me um, because I just oiled it and <laughs> it looks gorgeous um, it is a gush fest there's no two ways about it but that's it that's all I've got going on um, hopefully my beardy little friend will be back on track and we'll have a vlog on Monday night and um, I look forward if he does I'll join in with him if he'll have me um, he's He's not been, ah uh, no, that's not my place to say. He's not been a well puppy. He's not been a well puppy. So, uh, Dean, I hope you get back. You're an arse. I hope you get back on track soon, buddy. Um, I hope everybody at Vape Jam is having fun and buying lots of toys and not uh, everybody standing in the Frankie queue. I've seen some photos today. And <laughs> the queue for the Franken Skulls is just insane absolutely insane but uh, yeah we all like different things I suppose uh, that's me I'm going to go I want to keep this one kind of short um, I'm just going to keep this one kind of short but uh, thank you as always for watching I will catch up with you next week and, and, and that's it that's all I've got for you have a good weekend guys bye for now To the side of me here you will find two videos that I think you may also be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments in the video below.